Howdy everyone, John here with eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 bike rack for two bikes on our 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe. Now this is a great bike rack if you and a friend want to go out on the trail. It's going to be more for your smaller bikes and your lighter bikes overall. It's got a 40 pound weight capacity so you won't be able to use your heavier e-bikes, your fat tire bikes with this, which can be a bit of a disappointment, but if you're wanting that, you can always check out the Kuat NV. It's gonna have a higher weight capacity. But this is gonna be great because it has a way of holding on to your tire so it's not on your frame, because if you have a carbon frame or an odd shaped frame, you're not gonna want it on your frame. It's just gonna hold on to the tires, both the front and back. So with that, it also looks very sleek. It's going to come in gray, which that's what this one is. You got this burnt orange on the side, which I really like. It's also going to come in black and pearl. But let's take a closer look at some of the other features that this has. Now, one of the most important features, in my opinion, is going to be the tilt-away. Because whenever I have all of my stuff in the back of my Tahoe, I'm going to want to be able to get to it. And obviously, with our bike where it is at the moment, we can't really do that. But I'm just going to open the back here. You're gonna have to pull it a little bit so it's out of the way. It comes very close, but we have longer handlebars, so that's something to keep in mind. But now you can get in the back, grab everything you may need, water bottles, helmets. Uh, but from there, all you have to do is press the button. And compared to some other ones that I've noticed, it's definitely on the lighter side with lifting up. The NV is a little bit heavier and then along with some other brands, but this is something that no matter what the weight of the bikes is, I never have a problem lifting it up into place. Now we're gonna take a closer look at how the bike is held in place. Obviously we got these straps here. Uh, this strap is going to be able to handle three inch wheel width and it's gonna take a second to pop off. If you have it on there very tight, that's the one good thing about Kuat. Their stuff holds on tight to your bike and it's gonna actually move to place depending on how long your bike is. So if you have a wheelbase of 47 inches, it's gonna be able to handle that. Anything above it, I wouldn't even try. But from here, all we're gonna do is bring up this hook, push it down. I love the hooks on the Kua. They're very easy to use. And then you're going to pick up your bike, take it off and you're ready to go. So now that we have our bike off, let's get this all back in place. We're gonna move our cradle over here, put our strap back. And luckily, whenever you have it like this, all you wanna do is put your hook right behind wheel well. It stays there, nice and out of the way. Along with this cradle, it brings it down. So you're gonna have a nice compact look to it. Now, let's actually take a look at some measurements. Okay, one of the most important measurements is going to be your length from the back of your Tahoe to the back of your bike rack. You're gonna to wanna to know this whenever you're backing up into, say, whenever you finally get to the trail, whenever you're parking, anything like that. It's going to be 32 inches, so that's a good amount of length. We also want to get how much ground clearance do you have. Luckily, you don't have to worry about this too much with the Tahoe, but it's something to know either way. You are going to have, with your Tahoe, 32 inches as well whenever it comes to ground clearance. You're not gonna really worry about anything whenever it comes to going up higher uh, hills or any rocky terrain, but something to keep in mind because whenever your front goes up, your back's gonna go down. Now, let's actually show it tilting away. That's actually going to take care of a lot of our length when it comes to the back of our vehicle. With it tilted up, because we use this handle, like I said before, we're going to bring down to about 15 inches, which is gonna be a lot better whenever you're trying to get a parking spot. Along with that, let's see how close it actually comes to our vehicle. It's gonna be about four and a half, about four and a half inches, so that doesn't come any closer. With the anti-rattle mechanism, it's not gonna move any closer, and they don't have to worry about your Tahoe having any scratches on the side with having this on there. Now, one more measurement I wanna give you is the ground clearance in this position. It's not gonna to be too bad. About 22 and 3 fourths inches. So that's gonna be still really good. Like I said, your Tahoe isn't something you're gonna to have to worry about uh, bottoming out, but it's something to keep in mind. Now, as you can see for the back of our Tahoe, we have a massive back windshield. So you're not gonna to have to worry about that. It's much higher up. Both of your lights are gonna be out of the way. 
but something to keep in mind is your license plate and your backup camera going to be something you have to worry about. Personally, I think that the license plate is still very visible, but your backup camera is obviously going to be covered up whenever it's tilted up. So something to keep in mind whenever you're going on the road. Now with our hitch, we are going to have a two inch hitch with a anti-rattle bolt setup. We're also going to have a hitch pin and a hitch lock, which is very nice. I personally like it because it's key to life with your internal locking mechanisms for your bikes on the Kuat Sherpa. I'm putting this back in place. Let's take a look at the mechanism as I undo this. The handle is one of the best things in my opinion because it's so easy to use. As you can see, it's shaking all over the place. It's moving all about. If we tighten it up though, it does take a second, but much faster than almost any other way you can have an anti-rattle system. As I shake it back and forth, you can see it's just shaking the Tahoe. You don't have to worry about any shake and play or any rattling whenever you're going down a bumpy road. And from there, you know that your bikes are going to be safe. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage or driving in and out of a driveway. Now my final thoughts on the Kuat Sherpa is that if you're one to take your road bikes and maybe some of your uh, lighter mountain bikes, this is gonna be a great choice for you. But if you have heavier bikes, e-bikes or fat tire bikes, I'd maybe check out its bigger brother, the Kuat NV. That's gonna have a higher weight capacity and you'll be able to work around some of those other problems. But if you're looking for something that's sleek, it's gonna protect your bikes whenever you go out on the road, the Kuat Sherpa is a great choice. And that was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two bike rack on our 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe. My name's John, thanks for watching.